Assalamu alaikum, welcome to Ahsawa Lifestyle. This is our second part of our kitchen makeover. So if you want to watch the first part and know what happened and where we are at now, uh, please watch the first part of our kitchen makeover. In life, you have special gems. Alhamdulillah. Uh, Allah has gifted us with special gems. So what I mean is that we have special friend in our life that help us when we reach the end of the road. So this, what you're seeing, the whole kitchen makeover is only possible with with the help of friends, true friends that are there for you whenever you need them. Our whole kitchen was about being patient and waiting for the right time for a special gem to come along and give gift us this beautiful kitchen that we will see inshallah. The work that you are seeing now is one of the walls and here is a bit complicated because it's just underneath the stairs and some of the wood has rotted and here Brother Sanawar who's working very hard is correcting all this and he's uh, replacing everything with new pieces of wood and making the whole structure more stronger and to last. From here you can see all the wiring going so Brother Sanawar is sorting out all the wiring. He's gonna, in this video, he'll be doing all the wiring, the plastering, the gas pipes. Basically, everything will be covered. From the last video, you saw everything bare. In this video, inshallah, you'll see everything covered and nice and polished by the end of this video. In our kitchen, one side of the ceiling is higher than the other. So Brother Sanawar added more pieces of wood onto that side of the ceiling to bring it in line with the other side. And so we had one straight ceiling. So here you can see the new pieces of wood, it, wood added. <laughs> As Brother Sanawar and Samad Bai are putting on the new plasterboards in the ceiling, I forgot to mention that the insulation, as you can see, silver, has already been put in. So they've already put that in and done all the rewiring in the ceiling as well. So Alhamdulillah, they've done a good job and they put in all, in all the wirings and They've also digged into the walls, so all the wirings are hidden in the wall. So Alhamdulillah, uh, they've made a very good job of everything that they did. And I was very happy, me and my wife were very happy, and my children. Here are all the plasterboards going on onto the walls as well. So Alhamdulillah, that uh, they've uh, cut around the places where the sockets are going to go and they've asked us where we wanted the switches to be and how they're going to rewire everything and we told them everything and they've done it so we didn't there was no way of changing anything here we are at uh, mr granite so this is where we bought our worktop so we've looked at many places for worktops and this is the best place that we found after researching for three, four days non-stop. So it's very expensive 
and we wanted the best material at the best price. So we looked at uh, our local shops and also further away and Alhamdulillah we found a one local one that was the cheapest and that was at Mr. Granite here. We are at Mr. Granite's and we purchased one and that one will show you um, when the time comes. So you'll have to wait and see what we selected and you won't be disappointed. It's a very beautiful worktop that we bought. So Alhamdulillah here you can see it's all covered now. You saw at the start that this was bare and uh, Brother Sanawar was doing a frame, wooden frame around it to make it strong. Now it's all covered, looks very nice and tidy. So all the insulations have been in and the plasterboards are on and the wiring have been done. And even on the walls, as you can see, the socket plugs and the wires are in the places that it should be where we're going to have new kitchen equipment. But the Sanawar is also doing the gas pipes and water pipes. So here where the sink is going, you have the water pipes going, uh, coming down from the ceiling nicely uh, into the wall. So he's digged into the walls, uh, so it will be hidden and it's coming down and it will go right next to where the, our sink will go and the worktop. If you watched our first part of our video, Kitchen Makeover, you would have seen the, the massive hole that came. So one side, remember, we, sh we said was concrete and the other side was wooden and hollow. So we've covered this hollow bit and uh, put all the rubbles in. Now we're concreting it. So he's put the the black sheet underneath and is putting concrete over it to level the whole kitchen floor. The bit I was looking forward to is here now. So Brother Asanawar is uh, plastering the whole kitchen now. As all the plaster boards have been put on and everything all ready to be plastered. So Alhamdulillah, it's going to look really nice after doing all the plastering in the kitchen. As you can see, even with just the plaster boards on, the kitchen looks nice. And if you think about how it looked before and how it's looking now, so it's already a big change and the plastering went all the way through the night so Brother Sanawar is still doing the plastering and just the ceiling itself took a long time and he must have had a really aching arm so here you can see the amount of plastering that he's done and in one day he's done a lot of plastering and it must have hurt one thing you find out with all this building work is that you can't do one thing altogether you have to wait for something else to be done in order to do that thing so what they're doing now is brother Samad here is uh, doing the kitchen floor. So the kitchen floor that was concreted is dry now and they put on the floor tiles. So we've selected some really nice polished grey tiles, light grey tiles, large grey tiles and these are very beautiful tiles. Alhamdulillah. You will see when the kitchen when the kitchen units are on it looks amazing and it shines and it's beautiful and uh, this tile 
is quite popular with many kitchens. We found out later on that Brother Sanawar has worked in many other houses and they've all had the same tile. So we selected by our own choice these tiles and afterwards we've been told by the people that we bought it off that these tiles are very popular. So Alhamdulillah we made a good decision and the kitchen looks amazing after all the floor tiles have been put on. Here you see all the walls, all the bare walls have been covered and some have been plastered, some have not. And here uh, Brother Sanawar is doing, is putting the metal pieces on the corners. So the corners will look nice when the plaster uh, has been put on. So he's putting all the corners of the near the window sides and the near the doors so alhamdulillah when the plastering is done around here it will look really nice Now most of the walls will be plastered. So here the walls are being plastered now. And I just can't wait until everything's all plastered. So that's it. All the plastering has been done. So you see the ceiling now all plastered. And then the walls have been plastered. Everything looks really neat and tidy now. So we should wait a few days now for everything to dry. And then we'll put the undercoat on. And then the actual paint. So I hope you enjoyed part two of this makeover video. So inshallah on part three, you'll see even more. But one thing I would like to uh, tell everybody is that this video is a special memory for us that what we had before and that we are grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the blessings that he has given us. Whether this may be through a, a beautiful individual who has gifted this, but eventually everything comes from Allah. And Alhamdulillah, we are so happy and pleased that we could get this started and it's looking very beautiful already. For everyone that watched part one will know how the kitchen looked and now it's already looking amazing. So inshallah, we will see you in Part 3, Salaamu Alaikum.